Outside of New Plymouth, Idaho, in Payette County, a high-tech harvester digs this year's sugar bee crop. Not since the turn of the century, two decades ago, have growing conditions been this tough. Beet producer Galen Lee. Um, had a dry spring this spring and a lot of heat this summer and a lot of smoke again as we have had several of the past years. That smoke is affecting this year's crop. The heat is also having an impact. But through it all, the beet crop is looking good. Years. But they've sized up really well. They look really good. Beets are a little more adaptable to some drier conditions than some other crops are because they're a little deeper rooted. And so the size looks good. We'll know what the tonnage is when these get, get all delivered. And when the sugars come back, we'll know what that is. But right now, I don't have any numbers. Preliminary numbers from the association show a very mixed crop, but a crop that farmers can depend on. But, you know, the crops adapt and do well. Like I say, sugar beets are a little more tolerant to some drier conditions. They still need water, obviously, but they're a little bit more tolerant, so they were able to weather the storm and come through it. I think the price will be about the same as it has been, is what they're projecting. And if your tonnage is still good and the sugars are up there, why, checks should be just about the same. So we've got a good stable sugar program and, and uh, keeps the price at a stable place. Idaho farmers planted more than 180,000 acres of sugar beets this year. They hope to harvest at least 40.5 tons per acre. A lofty goal, but they'll take the stable crop in a challenging year. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Jake Putnam.